So welcome people of God. So I want to share a release with you. This is the word that I was working on and struggling through yesterday when, you know, the distraction happened. And I I now kind of see even why that happened. If you heard my last word where I said it's just a bug. So that whole thing, but then just more clarity that God brought to me about the word. And so God's timing is is absolutely flawless and perfect. So I pray that this word will locate you. So at the beginning of this month, the Lord had me talk about the first 14 days of this month as a time of significance and staying close to the Lord. And then towards the later part of this month, I'm going to release a word around specific. And so for the next few days, right? Because literally tomorrow I would give the victory word. Um, so I, I don't know how that's going to look. But here's what I want to say, though. In the meantime, in between time, for the next few days, for the next few days, particularly 16, 17, 18, the next four days, I want you to put a magnifying glass up to your life. And I want you to lean into allowing the Lord to really peel back, release, and shift you into your spiritual identity, your true spiritual identity. Listen to me, people of God. When I think about performance, this literally was a game changer for me. God... And even still peeling back the layers to show me who I really am as a kingdom person. And let me tell you why this is so key to performance. Let me tell you why this is so key to performance. Because as believers, as children of God, we come to the kingdom, we get saved, we accept Jesus as our Savior, as our Messiah, But what we do is we take and we bring with us the identity that was cultivated, that we've cultivated from the world, from our lives. Let me tell you something and let me make it real clear so that you can you cannot miss nor dismiss what is getting ready to show itself for you in the next few days. I don't want you to dismiss it. And I don't want you to miss it. I want you to catch the nudges from God concerning your true spiritual identity. But In context, what has happened is our identity, when we become believers, has been our reaction to life. That is what our identity is. We have become what has happened to us through life. All of the hurt, all of the rejection, all of the trauma, all of the drama, all of the pain, all of the lack, all of it, that is actually who we then become, that becomes our identity. And so what we do is we seek all of this supernatural performance, still identifying, still being the response and the reaction to our lives previously. Do you hear me, people of God? And so we don't understand why the doubt won't leave, the discouragement won't leave, we can't get a breakthrough, we're flip-floppy in our faith, we're up and down, we have the perseverance of, uh, I don't know, I don't know what doesn't have perseverance, but you understand what I'm saying, and, and we don't get it because our identity is not one of power, not one of authority, and not one of wholeness. That's not our identity. And so when the Lord started to, for me, show me that everything I not only identified with, I identified with it because that was my identity. You keep getting located by trouble because you identify with trouble. You identify with drama. You identify with trauma. You can't understand why job after job, it's the same stuff. Man, dude after dude, it's the same stuff. Friend after friend, it's the same stuff. Like, I can't catch a break in my finances. Like, because that is what you identify with. That's your identity. And so I had to, in the midst of what it didn't look like, identify with wholeness, identify with authority, identify with the truth, the keys that had been given to me, that what I 
permit me and my humanity as a child of God, what I permit on earth is what heaven permits. What I forbid, what I forbid on earth is what heaven forbid it, forbids. And let me tell you, it was a shifting to walk through that. It really was people of God, but I want to help you and teach you what I went through and what God had to bring me on the other side, other side of, I had to pay attention to all of, this is why if you saw the community page, it's been years that God kept trying to tell me that's not warfare. That's not warfare. I'm building something new. Just keep going. Just keep going. But I always stopped and I kept fighting the old. I'm fighting the lack. I'm fighting the pain. I'm fighting the trouble. I'm fighting, instead of just thinking, focusing, praying into the new. So I'm trying to teach you what it took me a minute to get. Because I was so used to the old. I was so, nobody's preaching this thing. God, everything is warfare. What do you mean this is not warfare? Everything is warfare. Every time pain and trouble and junk shows up, it's warfare. What do you mean something new? And it took me a lot of tears, a lot of pain, a lot of delay to really get it in my heart. This new thing that God was teaching me that I'm now teaching you. I had to have a shift in my identity. I had to say, regardless to what is showing up outside of me, I do not identify with that. I do not identify with being weak and inferior and defeated. And every time I turn around, I'm delayed. I know in Jesus name, no in Jesus name. I don't care who comes and tries to manipulate the word of God. I know what I speak is God's truth. I had to identify with what God said to me in spite of the fact that I had lived a life always reacting and responding to life. And so I don't want you to miss nor dismiss for the next few days the nudges God will give you. Because listen, for some of you, God is going to want you to show up in life and say, you're really a softer person. All the anger, all the passive aggressiveness, all of that, that's not you. For some people, God is going to want you to show up stronger. All that victimization, all that offense, all that woe is me, all that it never works out for me, put that down because that's not who you are. I don't want you to miss that over the next few days. I don't want you to miss what God is saying is your true spiritual identity. You are not what your parents have said. You are not what that person did to you. You are not none of that stuff. And trust me, it it becomes a whole David and Goliath thing when David feels like this word from God that really does feel so small in comparison to this giant of pain that life has shown you. But we know how the story of David and Goliath ends, right? We know that the word is going to win every single time. We just have to hold on to it. And so over the next few days, I want you to hold a magnifying glass up to your life. I want you to pay attention to the relationships, even people of God. I want you to pay attention to where you, anything that nourishes your pain points. It doesn't matter if it's within ministry. It doesn't matter if it's a family member. It doesn't matter and detach from that thing. Shake it off. You got that buddy that you always call in. Oh my gosh, it's the middle of the month. My money looks so jacked up. Oh, detach. You got that person that you always venting to about your relationships and ain't no good men out here or this thing ain't never gonna work with me. Detach. I want you to pay attention to what nourishes your pain point, because that is in direct contradiction to your performance. It is in direct contradiction to your performance. Pay attention to that. Have a shift in identifying with that thing. It doesn't matter what the world is out here trying to suggest. It doesn't matter what all the sensationalism is from the world. We know that though we live in the world, we are not, we are not of this world. We are spirit beings. We have a heavenly father. And that is what, that's what we identify with. That's what we 24, we never turn that off. That's our identity. We are believers because we believe. Get it? 
That's, that's my identity. I'm a believer. And so I want you, again, over the next few days, I don't want you to, to listen to this and click this off and say, oh, that sounded good. No, over the next few days, that's what I'm going to title this word. I want you to put a magnifying glass up to your life. I want you to pay attention to your life like you've never paid attention to your life before. I want you to pay attention to the conversations that stress you. I want you to pay attention to where you're getting all these negative thoughts. I want you to pay attention to what nourishes your pain point. I want you to pay attention to what triggers you. I want you to pay attention to where you find ease and where you find joy and where you find light. I want you to pay attention to where am I not walking in my identity? No, that's not me. That's not me. And so listen, I want you to, and, and I'm in agreement with you. I'm in strong agreement with you that over the next few days, the anointing is going to be available for you, for you to occupy and own your spiritual identity, one of power, one of authority, and one of wholeness in Jesus' name.